Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to find and download and run an application that I built when I was first learning programming. Uh, so it should be pretty cool, let's get into it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my web browser here, and I am going to go to my website here that I'm building. Uh, it's currently, you know, missing a lot of content and stuff, and that's part of what I'm doing right now is building and making a lot of this content. So I'm just going to go down here, and the first language that I learned when I first started learning programming in school was Python, uh, and so these are my Python projects here. Um, this was my final project here, and I'll do a video on that too. Uh, this blackjack is the app I want to show you today. So I'm just going to go here and you'll see right now I just got a little bit of info about it um, and you can go to the source code. After this video is made, uh, there will also be another block here that will go to this video and show what it is, how to run it, and how to check out the code. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to go to source code. It takes you to the GitHub uh, for this and this is a subdirectory of my class repo which was cs230 at iupy and i'm just going to get that url and uh, let's pop open the terminal here and we're just going to go to the desktop and clone it in all right so hopefully you know what git um is and how to use git clone and how to use the command line in just a basic way uh, if not there is a desktop application you can use github desktop uh, I know with Windows, that's a really popular way to use it, especially I'm on Mac and I prefer to use the command line anyways. So this is just how I typically do it. Uh, get that URL and come here and clone it. And it's going to take a second to download. Pretty large repo in general. And there we go, now it's downloaded. So now that it's downloaded, um, I'm going to get that folder over here. And you can see right here it's on my desktop, so I'm going to CD into that. CD is change directory, by the way, if you didn't know that. And here we go. And if I do LS, it lists out all my directories here. And we want this one right here, the card game. And so I'm going to CD into that. 06. And in here, you'll see I have multiple different versions of this. So with our projects in school, we had to basically build a basic version. And then if we wanted to, for some extra points, we could build other versions, black belt versions that did other uh, things on top of just the basic assignment. So the basic assignment is pretty simple. Um, and I'll actually show you the code for that. And here we go. So basically, all it does here is we are given uh, this information here, you know, just a basic uh, deck of cards. And we had to generate um where the cards were based on location without adding anything to the array so it had to be a single dimensional array and i just did that through the use of uh, some functions and ran some calculations here and displayed it and we can go ahead and run this and i'll show you that real quick so if i just run python 3 and card game basic here we go so it just lists out the entire deck of cards and the location of where that card is. So the ace of hearts is in the deck, the two of hearts, the computer has, the six of hearts, the player has, and so on down the list. Now that was the basic assignment, and I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some of the more complicated versions I went ahead and did. So again, LS, and you'll see here I have these uh, text-based games. Those are the first ones I made. First one, obviously, was single-player text-based. I'll go ahead and run that here. So Python 3, single player, text-based, and here we go. So uh, you want to play Blackjack, um, choose an option from above, and I'm actually going to hit 2, and that is a secret option that skips a bunch of the timing functions because if you hit 1, it'll list these instructions out slowly for you to read, uh, just something I did. So if you hit Enter when you're ready to play, It'll basically tell you here in words, you know, dealer has this and an unknown card, and this is you have been dealt a nine of clubs and a nine of hearts. What I'd like to do, well, that's 18. I think I'm going to stay. So I select stay, and it says uh, 
Let's see. Okay, so I stayed, and it told me what I had again. It told me I have 18 points. It told me that dealer was dealt a seven of diamonds and a six of diamonds. Um, that is uh, controlled by the program uh, that keeps dealing the dealer until he has 17 points. And then it turned out the dealer dealt himself a king of clubs. And then he had too many. He got 23 points. He busted. It said you win and then it lets you play again. I'm going to go ahead and zero here and quit. So if I just LS now, you'll see, okay, we've got this multiplayer text based right here. So I am going to just run that for you real quick. Basically the same thing, except you can play multiplayer. So I'm going to hit two again. It skipped my timing function. I hit enter because I'm ready to play. Now it asks me how many players are there. Well, I'm going to say there's three players and it'll go through. So player one, here's your hand and it's players one's turn and he can hit. Uh, and then it's like, what does he want to do? Okay, he's going to stay now. Now it's player two's turn. And everybody knows what everybody else has, except for the dealer who has that unknown card. And so basically, I'm just going to make these two stay as well. And now it tells you, oh, look, the dealer got 21 points. So we all lost because none of us had 21 points. Play again. And you can choose to play again or you can choose to quit. So now we're going to look at the fun, exciting part which is the GUI, and I believe if I'm remembering correctly, this was the first GUI I ever made, was uh, this Blackjack game. So it's called Single Player, so Python 3 Single Player GUI, and there we go. Now, one issue I noticed recently, and this was not the case when I first made it, so this must be the result of some sort of new Mac OS update, is that the buttons uh, are kind of displaying improperly. Um, now, this is an issue because on Mac OS, and this has always been the case, you cannot change the foreground or background color of buttons with TK Enter. Um, that's always been an issue. However, in the past, they just rendered correctly on their own. So I don't know what this new Mojave update did, but uh, if you're running on a Windows, these should display correctly. Uh, they're just not here. But basically, this is stay hand, and this is hit. Um, so let's see, I got 16. Hit, ooh, got lucky there, and I'm going to say stay. Dealer got 20, so I lost, and this is a play again button. And I'm going to hit play again, hit again. Oh, busted. Just cannot get a good hand. Dealer keeps winning. Let's keep it there. Of course he wins. I swear it's not rigged. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ooh, we tied, which technically means I should win. Yeah, I just got to get 20. Ooh, okay, we're going to keep it there. And finally, we win. Uh, but basically, you get the gist. There it is, just blackjack, and you can play. These buttons, unfortunately, aren't rendering because of the new update. I'm assuming that'll get fixed, uh, but for now, they're not rendering, which is unfortunate. But there you go. That's the GUI. Um, in another future video, I am... Uh, hopefully going to be able to go through how I created this and how you can follow along and kind of create your own uh, GUI app if you want. Uh, but for now, that's all, and I'll see you next time.